This is what Nikola Tesla had to say. My brain is only a receiver. In the universe, there is a core from which we obtain knowledge, strength, and inspiration. Your brain is only a receiver. In our world, we learn to function in one level of mind, the beta or waking frequency. But the mind is far more complex than that. To be human is to exist in multiple states of brain frequency. Why in the Western world, we get tricked into seeing the world from a particular lens. And that is the lens of the physical world. That everything that is real is that which we can touch. But in indigenous cultures of the world, they don't just function in the physical world. They have practices and rituals that help them go deep into the world of spirit, of mind, of soul. This is what Nikola Tesla had to say about these states. He said, the mind is sharper and keener in seclusion and uninterrupted solitude. No big laboratory is needed in which to think. Originality thrives in seclusion, free of outside influences beating upon us to cripple the creative mind. Be alone. That is the secret of invention. Be alone. That is when ideas are born. This is why many of the earthly miracles have had their genesis in humble surroundings. When Tesla says be alone, he's talking about going into yourself, listening to that still voice within. Now Tesla also said this, instinct is something which transcends knowledge. We have undoubtedly certain finer fibers that enable us to perceive truth when logical deduction or any other willful effort of the brain is futile. Tesla did not have access to an electroencephalograph machine to, or EEG machine to measure brain waves, but this is what Tesla was doing. He was able to access these states. In fact, one of Tesla's most famous quotes is this, my brain is only a receiver. In the universe, there is a core from which we obtain knowledge, strength, and inspiration. Your brain is only a receiver. These states are accessible to all of us. What consciousness ability one person might have, we all have because we're all made of the same stuff. The only difference is we might be unaware that it's within us or we might have beliefs that block it. In our world, we learn to function in one level of mind, the beta or waking frequency. But the mind is far more complex than that. There are other frequencies you can tap into alpha for relaxation, theta for tapping into intuition, psychic potential and healing, and delta where the really crazy stuff starts happening. Now the thing is, in our modern world, we try to solve everything at the waking level. But in indigenous cultures, they use altered states for really powerful abilities. Even in our modern society, we are starting to wake up. In Stephen Kotler's book, Stealing Fire, he said that the altered state industry is now a trillion dollars. Everyone from CEOs to Marines to athletes are using altered state tools to access states to expand their awareness. Now in this book by Daniel Goldman, it's called Altered Traits. Goldman talks about the four main ways to access these altered states, right? There is neuro training, and I'm a big fan of that. There is plant medicine, there's breath work, and there's meditation. And Goldman says this, the most important is meditation. So yes, you can do ayahuasca, and I do that. You can do neuro training, and I do that. But these require a lot of time, but there's one that gives me breakthroughs like nothing else, and that's meditation. Most people ignore it because most people do meditation in only one tiny way in which it should be done. And that is where they focus on their breath and they clear their mind. That is passive meditation. But there's a form of meditation called active meditation. And when you do this, you get to go and play with all of these altered states. Now, the most powerful and defined form of active meditation I've found and I've been studying it for two decades now, comes from Jose Silva. He's a mind science researcher who studied and created something called the Silva Method in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. I've been studying the Silva Method for 20 years, and it's one of the most powerful ways to access the alpha level of mind for healing, for, for relaxation, for creative visualization, but then going into theta in really well-constructed ways to tap into psychic potential, to source inspiration ideas, and then go further to Delta. And in Delta, you communicate with higher intelligence and you shift reality. You see coincidences, you see things just get easier. It's like 
you are blessed by luck. So in January, I did ayahuasca with a Colombian shaman, and the experience was profound. For seven hours straight, I felt something speak to me. I received in intricate detail visions and, and ideas and step-by-step -step instructions on business decisions, app designs, product features to create for my company Mind Valley. And I was amazed at how visual, how profound these insights were. Now the question is, why is it that we don't hear about this in modern society? The thing is, we actually do. More and more businesses, more and more executives, more and more CEOs are secretly using altered state training to make better decisions, to source intuition. Ayahuasca is just one form of altered state training. I was introduced to it in 2009 when I went to spend time living with the Achua tribe in the Amazon rainforest. The Achua are a form of dream culture. They use tools like ayahuasca to develop such perfect intuitive skill that they communicate to each other across vast distances in the rainforest using dreams. But you don't have to take a trip to the Amazon to tap into altered states. That altered state training is blowing up in the modern Western world. In fact, Stephen Kotler says, most of us have been falsely thought that we live in a monophasic world. In other words, to exist in one phase of brain frequency, but really, to be human is to exist in multiple states of brain frequency. What Kotler calls being polyphasic. Plant medicine, along with other methods, are ways to become polyphasic, to shift your reality from pure wakingness to the dream state, the alpha level, the theta level, to tap into different nuances of the human mind. And this is one of the most powerful skills any of us can learn. In fact, it may be the very reason we are here as a species today. There's a theory on why the human brain developed so suddenly out of the ape-like creature that we evolved from. Some people said it was because when our primitive ancestors were pushed out of the forest into the savanna, they started eating healthier, more fatty meats. And of course, the brain needs fat. That's one theory. There's a second theory that it was the discovery of fire which allowed us greater access to food and to break down food so we could have greater nutritional absorption. That's the second theory. But there's a third theory called the theory of the stoned ape that said that our early ancestors, as they foraged the savanna, they discovered certain psychedelic mushrooms. And these psychedelic mushrooms gave them the unique human ability to go into worlds within. See, what keeps us separate from the animals are, animals are constantly looking outwards. They see outwards with their eyes, but we human beings can go inwards. We can see thoughts, we can see ideas, we can play with intangible things that you cannot touch with your fingers, concepts that exist solely in our head. Love, God, success, compassion. You can't touch those things. They are all inner states. So why then do we assume that the sole method of functioning as a human being is to be fully awake? What if we're only meant to be partially awake and the rest of the time we're meant to go within? Now, Daniel Goldman in his amazing book, Altered Traits, says that there are four ways to access altered states of mind. Plant medicine is just one. But plant medicine is illegal in most countries. It can be dangerous and it requires a huge expense of time. Breathwork is profound. Everyone needs to try it. But breathwork is unpredictable. You don't know the insight you're going to get. And thus we come to what Daniel Goldman says is the number one way, and that is meditation. But you can go so much deeper explore these states, that's the alpha level, sometimes called meditation. Being able to lower your brainwave frequency to the alpha level unlocks unique skills. You can program your mind using specific silver programming techniques. You can use energy healing to accelerate natural healing in your body. And this has been truly powerful. Dr. O. Carl Simonton, the famous cancer research pioneer, said that the imagery therapy that he was teaching people to help them accelerate cancer recovery was inspired by the Silver Method. In fact, Simonton said the Silver Method was by far the most effective and powerful tool he had to offer patients. The third thing that you can do is access deep states of bliss, eradicate stress, fears, anxiety. That is the alpha level. Now, most meditations tend to stop there. 
Silva goes deeper. You go into what is called the theta level of mind. Theta is a deeper form of altered state. It is often the state where you're, you're in a dream-like world. You can't control your thoughts, flashes, dreams, insights come in. But if you learn to control your thoughts, what you get is waking psychic ability intuition and yes intuition is real today science has proven that it is a innate human quality that we all have when you get the theta level and you can learn to be conscious there you tap into intuition so that your words can flow you can create books art inventions you can create new ideas for your business and you can learn to do this at a waking state in a boardroom as you're writing as you're giving a talk this is waking theta access. Now the third level, and one of the hardest to tap into, is the delta brainwave frequency. Delta is the state that we're in when we are asleep. So that at the delta level frequency, we're connected to a higher power. And we can program our mind before going to bed to go into delta and tap into this higher power to solve problems, to create coincidences in our lives, to help us move more easily towards our desired goals.